Hello folks, reporting to you from Washington. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, where we are with the crab population issue in Virginia. You know, last year, uh, just about this time, we brought to the attention of the governor some emerging issues with our crabbers and the issues that they're facing with a decline in crab catch. And we were very, very concerned about that, about what the new limitations that were put in place by the Virginia Marine Resources Commission would have on our crabbers. And we asked the governor if he would work with us to ask the Secretary of Commerce to declare a fishery disaster so that our crabbers would be eligible for disaster funds to help them through these times as crab harvests were limited. Uh, we're all very, very thankful that we see some increase in crab populations today, and I'm cautiously optimistic about that, but I also am a realist and know that this is just the very beginning of what we're seeing as far as the impacts of these catch restrictions. So we want to make sure that we are measured in our response uh, to that and make sure that we don't overreact. We want to make sure that our crabs continue to rebound, but we also want to make sure we keep in mind the impacts of these regulations on our watermen. So there's a balance there. We want to do, do what's best for the resource, but also keep in mind the effect it has on our watermen. What can't be forgotten here, and what I really want to stress is that I hope this doesn't take away from the effort uh, to clean up the Chesapeake Bay. It's great to see our crab populations rebounding, but I still want folks to remember that water quality is extraordinarily important and we must continue to keep up the fight uh, to clean up our Chesapeake Bay. And we're continuing to do that up here with the introduction of our Chesapeake Bay Recovery and Accountability Act and we will continue to fight on a daily basis up here to make sure that we improve the water quality in the bay and then I think we will enjoy more of a long-term impact on all of our fisheries, crabs, oysters, and finfish. Thanks so much, folks. Look forward to reporting to you again from here in Washington.